In the brain, the ventricular system includes the third ventricle, fourth ventricle, and lateral ventricles. The ventricles produce cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, which circulates from the lateral ventricles to the third ventricle, the fourth ventricle, the subarachnoid space, and finally into the blood. When an obstruction develops in the ventricular system, it can block the normal flow of CSF, causing the ventricles to dilate and become distended. This abnormal buildup of CSF is called hydrocephalus. When severe, a buildup of CSF can compress brain tissue. The signs and symptoms of hydrocephalus vary with the patient's age. For example, in an infant, hydrocephalus may cause head enlargement, bulging fontanelles, eye fixation downward, and other effects. A ventriculoperitoneal shunt can relieve the pressure of hydrocephalus. In this procedure, a surgeon makes a scalp incision and creates and retracts a skin flap. The surgeon then makes a burr hole. Through the hole, the surgeon inserts a ventricular catheter and guides it carefully into the lateral ventricle. Next, a peritoneal catheter is inserted and tunneled down subcutaneously through the neck and chest. Along the way, a few small incisions may be needed. For example, the second catheter requires an abdominal incision to reach the peritoneum. Once both catheters are in place, the surgeon connects their ends to a valve and closes the incisions. The valve regulates the amount of CSF in the brain. In hydrocephalus, it decompresses the ventricles by shunting CSF to the peritoneum, where the fluid is absorbed and eliminated from the body.